This is the VEX VR uh, Storm the Castle Level 2 video, the second part to it. In the previous video, we ended up with our robot facing uh, zero heading roughly, uh, looking to knock over this part. As we can take a look at this part here, we're going to notice there's two different sections to it. So we're going to attack these sections separately. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, until red function. I'm going to duplicate here. And what I want to do is I'm not going to want to drive. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Moving this over. I'm to, going to want to drive in reverse. I'm going to reset myself the, uh, behind all of these. And I'm probably going to roughly want to go back 300 millimeters. And then I'm going to want to turn left instead of right. So this will have cleared this row. I would have backed up. But now I need to take care of these. So what I need to do is come back here and I want to drive forward. And we're going to guesstimate again about 50 millimeters. And then we're going to make another left hand turn before we run this uh, function again. So if we look and see how this plays out now, to check our program, we cleared that. We've cleared here as well. So far that increased drive speed is working out. We're a little off center here, but it's worked for us. We've done our reverse. And you can see I definitely have an error in my coding there. So let's go back and take a look and fix that error. And as I look, I didn't want to turn uh, left here. I actually wanted to turn right going forward 50 millimeters, then turning left uh, until, my un until I ran my until red again. So that was a little bit of an error on my point. Again, it's easy to get yourself confused as you're writing your program. So it should read reverse, right, forward, and then left. Now I'm going to duplicate this little section of code because I know I need to clear out this next section. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to drop this underneath here. And I know I'm going to need to reverse again. And again, I'm going to guesstimate about two and a half squares, right around 500 uh, millimeters. I'm going to turn right at 90 degrees. Then I'm going to move forward. This time I'm going to inch forward to the second row a little bit more. So that put that at 100 millimeters. And then again, I want to turn left at 90 degrees before I run this function again. So just to check our the work as we go along, let's see how we are. And we can look at it from a different camera perspective too. We can see our robot both from the front view as it tackles this uh, or the angled view. But now I really want to turn to my top view to see what occurs here. I'm a little off center and it didn't quite work out for me. I turned and again, it didn't quite work out for me. Uh, so, Maybe that initial heading, and I can come back and change that uh, on this one to come back up a little bit further so I can hit that one straight on. But to finish out the rest of the program then, uh, I know I'm going to drive in reverse that 200 uh, millimeters. And then I'm going to turn right to get that last one sitting over here in this corner at 90 degrees. And I'm going to run my function again until red. So just for the sake of this, I'm going to experiment a little bit uh, with this and say uh, on that backup, that would be on the uh, second until red. I might want to back up, let's say 150 millimeters, and we can run this program and see if that 